Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chimaima. Today I'm going to give advice to the 300 level medics. I've already given advice to 100 and 200 level medics. Today is for the 300 level medics. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is congratulations in less than six months six to seven to eight nine months you will be a 400 level medic you'll be a clinical student you'll be eligible for the white coat ceremony congratulations so the first tip i'm going to give to you is yes i know that you just got into 300 level and you may be tempted to start preparing for the mb yeah great not that bad though but focus on preparing for your third in course it's after you finish preparing for your third in course you can now start actively preparing for your mb please do not run faster than your shadow do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it how you're supposed to do it the second thing i'm going to tell you is after your third in course that's your third test or last test please try to see if you can take out a week to prepare heavily when i say heavy preparation try to take out at least a week to prepare heavily for your main mb if your school actually has anything like mock mb like my school please take out that week to prepare for your mock mb and to prepare for your main mb the whole of that week serious preparation nothing else it will go a long way to help you another thing i'm going to tell you is this is the the time to chew literally chew and digest past questions gather as many past questions as possible both first in course second in course third in course main mb or mock mb for even as long as 10 to 20 years in your msa in your school gather those past questions and chew them raw study it know it in total and in tata another thing of course is if you're preparing for viva i already have two series on how to study and prepare for viva my viva questions and how i face them if you're preparing for viva then study group is very important even main mb self even for main mb this is when i would strongly recommend study group but if it's something that i've not been working for you please by all means don't even bother yourself then another thing i'm going to tell you is please no matter what and monitor your health because this is not the period for you to fall sick many of my classmates were sick throughout the period of mb when it was time for viva that was when i felt seriously ill once you notice anything go and do tests if it's malaria if it's typhoid treat Treat it immediately don't let it get bad that you will fall down because this is not a period for you to be sick at all you need to do as much study as possible another thing i'm going to tell you is you see your 200 level second semester holiday into 300 level utilize that holiday heavily to study your 300 level work don't waste that holiday studying 200 level work no 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 use that holiday to study 300 level work so that by the time school resumes those things will not be so difficult for you because there are so many 300 level stuff that are really strange to my ears despite the fact that i have a first degree in anatomy so don't be like me use your 200 level second semester into 300 level holiday to prepare for your 300 level it will go a long way to help you another thing i'm going to tell you is please you need like you seriously need to make a study plan you finish your third test try to make a study plan that will cover all the topics that you've been taught through your 200 and 300 level try to see if you can go through all those things at least once for me by god's grace i was able to go through everything three times the week of my mock mb that was when i went through those things again so making it four times i went through those things before my mock mb for main mb the break in between my mock mb and my main mb i was able to just utilize that one week or so to see how i can brush through using fast reading if you've not seen my video on how to do fast reading how to increase your speed of reading i'll put the link up for you, you need to to see that video so i use that technique to browse through brush through everything i've learned that short one week or so between my mock mb and my main mb if you can make up a tangible study plan please do it's going to help you you've not seen my video on how i got a distinction at preclinicals so i explained every single thing that i did to make that distinction i'll put the link up for you you need to see it if you're interested in distinctions and of course another thing i'm going to tell you something i keep saying over and over again by all means do what works for you this is your main mb that you're preparing for now at this point you should have known the study plan that's working for you you should have known the youtube channels that's working for you you should have known the textbooks that's working for you you should have all your lecture notes your slide materials all impact now i'm not saying you must copy the notes yourself you can always photocopy and snap from your classmates me i'm not a note taker i hate writing anything that involves me writing i hate it during my time i never used to write notes in class except i'm just doing it so that the lecturer will not pinpoint me i used to rely on my classmates and my friends for notes don't be like me anyway so if you don't have any problem with writing notes by all means copy the notes but the important thing is let all your notes and in materials be up to date okay now this period after your third test in between your third test and your main 
main MB. Adrenaline is at work. Probably your main MB timetable is out and everything is just jumping in your head. Calm down. Like I've said, make plans. Now, this is a very good opportunity for you to utilize online resources. When I say online resources, I mean stuff like Teach Me Anatomy and the rest. Those are online resources. You can just hold your phone, browse through, flip through, and you finish studying the whole topic in anatomy. Yeah, that's what I love. But some people actually love the physical stuff. For me, I'm a soft copy guru. That's what works for me. By all means, do what works for you. My point is utilize online resources as much as you can. YouTube channels, websites, utilize them. They are going to go a long way to help you. Then another thing I'm going to tell you is that, yes, after your TED test, I don't know how it's done in your school, but by right, before your mock MB or before your MB, they should release your cumulative. It depends on your own school. For my school, cumulative is usually over 20. Mock MB is usually over 10 and the main MB is usually over 70. So when that mark over 20, when your continued assessment over 30 is released, sit down and cross-check every single score to be sure that every mark that is imputed in that spreadsheet is correct. Some of my classmates, they had 70 something in the course and what was recorded for them was 50 something or 60 something. Don't allow it to don't say it's not just 0.1 mark. Really, if you know what that 0.1 mark can do for you, eh? You will run and go and correct it. So don't take chances. If there's any mistake in your result, depending on the protocol and how things are done in your school, or shoot it with your blood and make sure that that thing is corrected, even though it's one mark. Because there are some people, believe me, who had 49 and were asked to repeat or receipt or were asked to be withdrawn. Believe me, I saw scores like that 48, 49. 47 and they were just withdrawn from medical school just like that because of two marks one mark all these tiny tiny marks that would have been added even for distinction there are some people who had 69 68 and because of that they were not called for distinction viva just because of one mark or two marks guys don't allow anything to rip you off that 70 or of that 50 just because you were too lazy or you were too busy to correct whatever mistake that was made on your result Oh, that stories that touch your heart to don't allow your village people to chuck sand inside your gary do your own part and allow god to do his own part another thing i'm going to tell you is by all means it's okay to feel overwhelmed ah many times i sat down crying many times i'll just flip through all the topics that i need to cover up and i'm like jesus can i really still pass this mb especially biochemistry biochemistry was a thorn in my flesh biochemistry wasn't voluminous it was more of difficult for me but anatomy was just the volume of work that needed to be done it, it was massive so there are times that you would feel overwhelmed well, don't worry, you're not alone, okay? Try and see one or two of your senior colleagues that you can catch up with. For me, I kept on chatting up my senior colleague, MRM. God bless you, MRM. Kept on chatting her up. Anytime I feel really discouraged, she kept on pushing me. She would be like, don't worry, you make it. You will be a distinction candidate. You know, suppose they worry yourself like others. Oh, you know that kind of thing, like that ginger ring, my dear, you need it. You really need it. If you don't have anybody to ginger, you ginger yourself. Go back and look at courses that you did very well well in like for me anytime i feel so down i go back to look at any course at all that i scored 70 to 80 plus i'll be like wow wow jemmy you know book shall you fit past this thing you fit past this thing not a fear you get like ginger yourself don't allow yourself to be to be overwhelmed for too long it's okay to be overwhelmed yes but don't stay overwhelmed for too long pick up yourself look for what to do to raise your spirit up to motivate you or to inspire you chat someone up send someone a message watch certain youtube videos watch certain people's vlogs and you'll get motivated you'll get inspired don't just allow yourself to remain overwhelmed all right guys this video was too long as usual by tomorrow the last part will be out i remain your girl jemima bye